Since 2008, Dr. Shiva Roy has been researching and developing a new and better way for kidney failure patients to live an easier and better life. I continued my graduate studies in Cleveland at Case Western Reserve University. And after working in Cleveland for some time, I moved to UCSF about 11 years ago in 2008. So patients who have kidney failure have two treatment options. One is kidney transplant, which allows them to live a normal life and they go about doing the daily activities. Fortunately, there are very few transplant organs available for donation. So the vast majority, almost 80% of people with kidney failure must live on dialysis. What does that mean? In dialysis, you have to go into a center where you're treated for three to four hours. In this treatment, what happens is you're basically hooked up to a machine the size of a refrigerator that connects to your body through needles and tubes that drains blood from your body, filters it through this machine and pumps it back into the bloodstream. But what's also worse is that this dialysis process doesn't necessarily cleanse you of all the toxins in your blood. We are building the implantable bioartificial kidney in stages and we do this through a series of iterations where we build small scale components, test them, then build larger scale components and test them and we learn something about the operation of the device and from that learning we can modify the next iteration and test it. We'll continue doing so till we're able to show the device works well in preclinical animal models and once that's satisfied and we show the device is safe and effective, we'll then transition to the first humans. Our device will be able to let patients who are carrying on dialysis have access to a treatment that's comparable to transplant in the sense that they can live their lives more normally. And unlike transplant patients, they would not have to take drugs to prevent rejection. Altogether, this will make the patients live a more normal life. We hope to find partners in industry who can then take over from us and make this a commercially available product that can be sold to patients so that they feel better. Reporting for Scotts Center News, I'm Josh Barty.